St. Patrick's Day is a significant Irish holiday celebrated on March 17th every year, in honor of St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. This holiday began in the late 5th century and is now a national holiday in Ireland. With Irish descendants spreading all over the world, St. Patrick's Day has now become a holiday in other countries. I travel to Belfast, the capital of Northern Ireland, to document this annual festival. Earlier in the day, a holiday marathon was held downtown in Belfast. We chatted with some of the participants to hear what St. Patrick's Day meant to them. I'm Angela Hunter. I'm from Belfast. Patricia and Mary. Belfast. Belfast. Belfast, Ireland. Are our parents from here? Celtic descent. Oh, Celtic, Celtic descent. descent. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, she's originally a Viking. <laughs> am I of Celtic descent? Well, well, yeah. Yes, I would say I am, um, I guess, yes. What does this festival mean to you? Well, Everything, quite a lot. We're, we're Irish. Yeah. St. Patrick was. He's our patron saint. He's our patron saint, and we love St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. What does it mean to me? It just means St. Patrick's Day is a good day for celebrating, for everybody to have a laugh. I think people in Northern Ireland like having fun and it just unites everybody, brings everybody out and it's a good opportunity just to have, have a laugh. Uh, <laughs> beer. Beer, <laughs> alcohol and uh, representing our culture. After the interview, I went to the St. George's Market, which is a historical Victoria market established between 1890 and 1896. Initially a meat market, it transformed into a bustling hub with about 300 traders, highlighting its importance in the city history. It served as a temporary mortuary during the Belfast Blaze during World War II. Post war, it underwent major refurbishment, lending to a vibrant venue known for events such as the food festival and concerts, and is celebrated for the atmosphere and community significance. After St. George's Market, I walked westward and saw a wall gifty on the famous Peace Wall. Originating in Belfast during the 1969 troubles in Northern Ireland, the Peace Wall, or Peace Line, is more than 32 kilometers long. It was designed to reduce conflict by separating the Catholic and the Protestant communities in Belfast. The wall was built to prevent decreed violence between communities, particularly along Cooper Road and Bombay Street. Despite the progress in the Northern Ireland peace process, those walls have become part of local society and culture. I had a plan to return after documenting the peace wall. However, on my way back, I saw the Coronado Martyrs Memorial Garden, which honors IRA members, former prisoners, political activities, and civilians from the Coronado area who died during the conflict known as the Trouble which is back to back with the peace wall, from which I feel the desire for peace and the respect for life of the large number of people. My name is Raymond. And My name is Ina. Uh, I'm from Ireland, from Belfast. Uh -huh. yeah. and, uh, and I live in Donegal, in Ireland. Be tolerant. Uh, be, yeah, be tolerant. <laughs> people, should, people should love everybody yeah. and people should appreciate each other's culture. Being yeah. different doesn't make us wrong, it doesn't make us right, it makes us different, that's all. Yeah, and, and we have yeah. to respect that, yeah, that we, we are, are different. Yeah, we just have to And other people are different, you're different, yeah. but we respect <laughs> that. <laughs> Claudio, and United States. And the difference between their culture and your culture? Uh, well, you know, we, 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 are, we have a, a Latin American culture, so it's a little different than the Irish culture, so... Uh, I don't know what's the difference, but <laughs> I think they're... I, I don't, different? I don't know, they are very close. People from Ireland and from Latin people, they are very close family. In America, it's different. 
Um, can I give some example of the difference? The, the, the parent and the kids, they are more close. In, in America... In family means... Families. Yeah. In, in America, it's different. The people, the, the parent, the kids leave the house 18 and they're not so friendly, so... It's not as family. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's different. It's not too close. Of course, you know, we gotta have peace. I mean, I heard about it when I was a kid about, you know, London Derry, you know, the war against, you know, uh, the south and the north in a way, I guess. And, and yeah, I remember about this and I was, we came from, uh, from Dublin today and we, we saw, you know, the history about, you know, the bloodshed in, in in all these wars, so no, peace, man, peace. So, so Education, and you have to educate people, you know, the past was the past, and now, you know, you gotta, you, you know, yeah. get it's people right. together, you know, the, the government, you know. It's the family, it's more family. It's, it's, it's teaching, you know, the teaching family not the to school. hate. Don't hate the people. Everybody, we are human people. Everybody, we are the same. One day this all will change, treat people the same. Stop with the violence, down with the hate. In the ever flowing river of time, it seems as if the inevitable process of the development of the times includes advancement replacing backwardness, the rich replacing the poor, and the right replacing wrongs. At the same time, let us not forget that behind those changes are the blood and the sacrifice of countless people, that we are surviving them and they are died us, because they firmly believe that love and peace, freedom and equality, dignity and justice are internal propositions of humankind.